so we have our seed beads which is 11 o seed beads right there and then we have some roundel beads and then we have some six millimeter frosted glass beads and then a small charm for this Christmas and festival season and also we have some bead stringing wire which is seven strand bead stringing wire which is 0.45 millimeter thickness so I have cut about say two feet and my daughter is demonstrating how this bracelet is made and she is going to start by adding 15 seed beads to the two feet cord it's gonna take some time to add the 15 o's sorry you can ha actually add 15 o's or 11 o's these are 11 o seed beads she's gonna add that so the 15 seed beads have been added now add a she's gonna add a roundel bead which is a 6 by 8 millimeter roundel on both the strands and then bring it up towards the end this is what we have so far now separate the two strands then we are going to add one of the strand doesn't matter which one it is right or left we are going to pick up four seed beads and one frosted bead and then again four seed beads we are going to do this on both the strands we have added on both the strands she is going to take one of the cords take the roundel on one cord and cross cross with the other cord it's a simple bracelet but yet very elegant now pull both the strands together this is what we have so far this is going to be the pattern for the entire bracelet so now we pick up four seed beads on one strand and a frosted bead and four seed beads and then the same on the other strand and crisscross through the roundel we are going crisscrossing through the roundel after picking four seed beads and a frosted bead on each of the strands this is what we have so far this is going to be the pattern of the entire bracelet if you think it is a little bit too big you can reduce the size of the uh, the number of seed beads that you add for example pick up two or three and then the frosted bead and then three so that the size of the bracelet will be a little bit the size of the circle will be a little bit small but we like this so we are going to continue the same pick up four seed beads and a frosted bead on the right four seed beads and a frosted bead on the left and crisscross through a roundel there we have four seed bead a frosted bead and a four seed beads and the same on the other side we are going to crisscross through a roundel there we go continue that uh, bracelet until continue the same pattern until you reach the length of the bracelet the length of the bracelet should be about if it is for a standard size which is seven and a half inches it should be about six and a half inches because we need to leave room approximately an inch for the clasp we have finished eight units of the round thing and then one of this uh, elongated one we need to finish with this so here is a four uh, seed bead frost and four 
and here is the same thing instead of crisscrossing at this point we are going to put both the beads through a roundel both the beads through a roundel sorry both the strands through the roundel then we are going to add seven seed beads on each strand now i have some crimp tubes and i'm going to make her crisscross through the crimp tube so we had 15 seed beads on the other side starting and here we have seven on either side the final seed bead is going to be the crimp tube so i crisscross through the crimp tube and check our entire bracelet is fine now go ahead and crimp with the plier making sure that you don't crush the seed bead now all you need to do is pick up the wire cutter and snip off the excess wire just like so I know there is a seed bead which is broken but that's okay she's a kid she did pretty well good job with the bracelet I'm happy about it so now I'm going to add jump rings so I have here two jump rings which I made and one which is six millimeter this one is big so I'm gonna add it's always good to have a couple of jump rings in such kind of bracelets because it's easy and very flexible to wear so I'm just going to add this and a lobster claw you can add a magnetic clasp toggle clasp whichever you want to I'm gonna add lobster claw I attach that over there and over here again it's better to add a couple of jump rings if you want for extra flexibility and ease of wearing the six millimeter jump ring will host a Christmas charm that we have from the box and I'm going to add it to the side wherein um, the seed bead was busted. So, so this is it. The bracelet is finished. I hope you guys like this video. This is my first attempt to make. A bracelet with my daughter I think she did a great job she's nine years old and this bracelet has come out very pretty and this is using GGC treasure bag Santa's treasures for this month very pretty they are I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification I do upload videos couple of times a week thanks so much for watching have a good day bye bye